Today, we're setting off on a voyage to the North Pole. It is one of the most mysterious places on our planet. People have been trying to reach it since the 17th century, but they first succeeded only three centuries later. And now it is not difficult to do at all. Both scientists and tourists can get there on nuclear-powered icebreakers. In front of us is the 50th anniversary of Victory Icebreaker. She is capable of breaking through 3 meter thick ice. However, global warming makes the task easier. There is less and less ice even in the north. But the pole is still icebound and we are moving steadily toward the goal. The land is long out of sight, and we are surrounded by the endless expanses of the Barents Sea. The icebreaker is almost 160 meters long, 30 meters wide, and 55 meters high. She accommodates 138 crew members and 128 passengers. Her main purpose is to provide safe waterways for ships on the Northern Sea Route. But since 2009, she has also been used for cruises. We set off from the port of Murmansk, the icebreaker can reach speeds of about 40 km per hour on clear water and as we are getting closer and closer to the pole, there are more and more ice flows. The powerful icebreaker easily turns them into crumbs. Her engines are powered by two nuclear reactors and her double hull is made of heavy-duty steel. The ship has not only comfortable cabins, but also recreational facilities, a library, a bar, a sauna and a swimming pool. Look, the scattered ice flows are gradually coming together. Even though some patterns of water are still showing through the ice carpet, there are fewer and fewer of them now. The bright blue sky is becoming more heavily overcast and white becomes the primary color in this austere landscape. Though this is not entirely true, even ice has several color variations. The first initial layer of ice is gray, but the thicker and older it gets, the lighter it is. Hamaki ice can take on a blue hue, and occasionally there is green ice, where the water is saturated with iron. Now we are looking at the icebreaker from her bow side. Check out its shape. The engineers call it spoon-shaped bow and are very proud of it. Such a design has never been used in other Russian icebreakers, but thanks to it, the icebreaker can break through the ice cover more efficiently.
The journey from the port to the North Pole takes about six days, much depends on the weather. A record was set in 2017, only three days. We are already very close to our destination, 90 degrees north latitude. One can admire this magnificent, peaceful landscape from the captain's bridge or the ship's bow, but we have the best view thanks to a drone. Look at the deep rifts in the ice. We will be landing on its surface soon. However, this is our last opportunity to view the area from above. The drone's compass cannot show the north direction because we are already in the north itself. It will give unstable readings when launched, so it is better to survey from the ground. But we have fulfilled our objective. We have arrived at the reference point where the Earth's rotation axis intersects the Earth's surface. Even though hundreds of people have done it before us, it is a truly unforgettable feeling and a pioneer's joy. And now you have been to the North Pole too.